Police are seen here towing the car into the central government office car park where the Department of Agriculture and Livestock is. A total of four vehicles were retrieved last Friday with more expected to be collected. Agriculture Minister John Simon and the new acting secretary for the Department of Agriculture and Livestock, Stephen Mombi, inspected the vehicles and were appalled at the state of some of the vehicles. These are the latest models from uh, uh, Ford Motors. We just picked them up in uh, 2016. Yet. Uh, you know, telephone system is all in that car. All you need to, when you're driving, you just ring or Bluetooth on your mobile, and when f calls are coming in, it, it comes through the speaker system. You just drive and talk, and, mm -hmm. and that's how beautiful the, the vehicles are. But just go around and see the condition of this car. Common plates are gone, it was removed. Two of the vehicles were retrieved from a private mechanic at Tete Settlement and the others with non-departmental staff. From records kept at the department since 2002, about 49 vehicles were bought for the department throughout the country. Some vehicles are kept by private mechanics due to non-payment of service fees. Others exceeded their lifespan but taken away by staff without following proper processes. The government policy is the only the head of the department has an unlimited 24-hour use of government vehicles. If you're issuing a government vehicle, that allowance paid, you have to forbid to the state. You can't claim it. So ultimately, we, our, our salary staff will advise, or we will advise them to remove my uh, allowance, uh, car allowance, so uh, I want to use that car. And then the deputy secretaries. <clears throat> Anybody down the line, it's up to the, it's up to the, the head of the department to allow them like while the department couldn't pay for the service fees it had funds to hire vehicles something mr mombi put a complete stop to mombi said they are compiling a list and will start recouping all the assets that belong to the department all the government vehicles disappeared we are identifying a nine or eight reward offices in the department are involved cutting speckies Maybe involved with the rascals. As soon as the car is parked, they have a specky. Just walk across, get into the car, and they drive up. And that's how bad it is. I'm also going through the records of what other assets have been paid for from this money, government money, the laptops, the mobile phones, the, the, the cameras. Uh, we are compiling the list. Whoever is in that custody will have to bring everything back. Mombi said internal investigations are underway and if some staff are found to have committed an offence, criminal in nature, they will be referred to the police. The officers involved in the department that have been identified and of course arrests will be made. <clears throat> One ran away is in hiding now. We know where he is. He will be arrested. And not only that, not only vehicles, it's accountable all the files that we need out the, the government forms for the spending, check bars, everything. Most of it is gone. But we know exactly who got it. So they have to bring it in for their own good. Because they can run. I'm going to hold them. Walking into the department, its vision, values and goals are at the reception. The new secretary is urging his staff to have time to read such documents and laws that guide and govern them in serving the people. He said the department has a huge task now of getting back the people's trust. Shamin Poreambeb, National MTV News.